You guys, you guys, you guys. How fun is that carnival music, right? I love that. I love that little addition. Hey, everybody. My name is Ashola. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you if we have never met before. Hey, Cheerios Milk. Hey, Kit Murphy. Hello, Sand Bear from PA. What's up, Liz56? Hey, YD907 says South Dakota in the house. What's up, you guys? Hey, Bessie. Hey, how are you? Hey, LaVey, all you guys, you guys having a good day today? Yeah, someone said, <laughs> someone said they show La Wayne Brady's brother from another mother. That's funny. Uh, that's like, that was like one of the jokes back in the day when we were on camera. I don't know if you guys know, we used to be on camera back in the day and people would say that all the time when they saw me, <laughs> which I think is funny. Uh, I don't see it, but hey. Hey, Amber, 8Ball2004, all you guys, how are you guys doing? So I hope you guys are uh, having a great day. We're going to have a really fun game, all right? It's going to be amazing, immaculate, all the above. But before that, what are you guys doing this weekend? Before we get started, I just want to know, what is happening on your weekend? Are we going uh, swimming? Because you guys know it's hot, okay? It is hot. You know, it, it's no joke. Are we going swimming? Are we going to the mall? Are we having picnics? Are we having... Uh, barbecues what's happening here okay someone's working someone's on vacation okay that's fun someone else is going camping casey crane is going swimming all right some people are asking what about the hints you guys we send the hints out before the games on our social media profiles so you got to check the social media so look go you can i mean if you have time you can try but we're about to start i'm just saying someone brought bought a crock pot you know what to the person that brought a crock pot make sure you use it i have one and guess what i never use it you know, I don't. I don't. Something about the crock pot chicken comes out weird to me. But that's just me. Maybe I don't do it right. But you know what? Listen up. You know why? Because it is World Listening Day. And I am grateful that you're listening to me as I host the Thursday edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. <laughs> now, listen to your instincts as you play for today's grand prize. You want to see it? Look at that. That right there is $1,000. And everyone who can correctly answer my 10 multiple choice general trivia questions are going to split it. Now, in this game, you'll earn one bonus SP for every single question you get right after your question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you win the game, they're automatically added to your prize. Otherwise, you'll have to claim them at the end of the game to keep them. Now, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize, either using SB or with a free rejoin. So make sure to click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins just by watching videos. Now, each game we give away five 100 SB prizes to five lucky players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. So you guys wanna see Wednesday's winners? Here they are. Boom, look at that. Shout out to everybody who got that. Everyone else, keep on playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you, all right? Now, you guys, breathe in. Let's take a second, breathe in and breathe out. All right, we're ready. Now, the comments are off to really listen to the sounds of nature, which means we can get this game started without them. Here's question number one. Which Broadway show is about the Von Trapp family? Chicago, The Sound of Music, or Company? Chicago, The Sound of Music, or Company? Now, the musical is based on actual events that took place in Salzburg, Austria, which means at one point, Julie Andrews, the star of The Sound of Music, got to appear on TV with the actual Maria. Boom! The answer is The Sound of Music, as you guys saw. 13,866 8, 8, 13, of you guys got that one right. Look, I got my first tongue tie of the day. Get ready, because I'm sure more is coming. That's pretty good, though. That's 91% of you guys, 8.2% got it wrong. But hey, you're still doing what you need to do. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here is question number two. Which of the following appetizers is traditionally spicy? Is it buffalo wings, mozzarella sticks, or sourdough rolls? Buffalo wings, mozzarella sticks, or sourdough rolls? Yeah. Based on your tolerance for heat, they could be scorching hot or they could just taste tangy to you. Now, if they're too hot, 
Just dip your buffalo wings in some ranch or blue cheese. Preferably, I'm going with the ranch. 100% of you guys got that one right. Literally 99.6% got that one right. Shout out to all of you guys. That's over 15,000 of you guys who got that one right. And obviously, know something about buffalo wings. Listen, you don't know anything about me. I love chicken wings too, all right? Not necessarily buffalo, but chicken wings in general. Moving on to the next question worth more bonus SB. Here's question number three. The United States shares its longest border with which country? Peru, England, or Canada? Peru, England, or Canada? Now, if you know geography, you may get this one right. Now, the boundary on water is 2,380 miles, and the land border is 3,145 miles. Thankfully, they're one of our closest allies because defending the border with Canada would be no easy task. Canada is the correct answer. And again, you guys showed up and showed out. 14,000, over 14,000 of you guys got the one right and knew that it was Canada. Listen, only, only under 200 of you guys got it wrong. So that's really good. Listen, rejoin, rejoin, rejoin. Remember, when you're out, you can rejoin, all right? And you can keep on playing in the game. Over 187 have rejoined so we can move on. Question number four worth one bonus SB. Let's look at it. How many countries have a holiday celebrating independence from the UK? How many countries have a holiday celebrating independence from the UK? 47, 65, or 81? 47, 65, or 81? Now, at one point, the sun never set on the British Empire. But several of the countries once under British control are now independent. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. And 65 of them celebrated with holidays, okay? 5,663 of you guys got the one right and knew that it was 65. But, oh my heart. Listen, I got to give you guys a chance with this one. That's only 38% of you guys who got the one right. Over 61% got it wrong. And honestly, the answers were all over the place. All right, 40% thought it was 47, 38% thought it was 65, 22% thought it was 81. I'm going to give you a, a second. All right, T -t take a good few seconds to rejoin you guys because that one really got you guys. And I believe in you. That was just a little flub for you, you know, but you can do it. All right, over 8,100 of you guys have rejoined. So I think we can move on. Let's breathe in one more time for that one. Let it out. All right, you can do it. We're halfway there. Question number five with one bonus SB. In which decade was sparkling water created? 1760s, 1810s, or 930s? Yeah, you heard me correct. Which one is it? Now, people had been trying for years, but English chemist Joseph Priestley brought a pig's bladder into the mix, and by the 1760s, sparkling water had been born. I mean, questionable ways, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. 1760s is the correct answer. 7,828 of you guys got the one right. So shout out to all of you. That's 58% who got it right. Now listen, still not the best, but much better than the 38% on the last question. So hey, 20% increase. I'm not mad, but I would say rejoin, rejoin, rejoin. We already have 1,800 of you guys who rejoined. So I guess we can move on. And also in the comments, let me know how many of you guys like sparkling water. Because me, I cannot. Moving on to the next question where one bonus SB. Here is question number six. Where was Tetris invented? Spain, Canada, or Russia? Where was Tetris invented? Spain, Canada, or Russia? Now, the movie Tetris with Taron Egerton shows how political and corporate intrigue played a huge role in the battle for the rights to publish Tetris outside of its native what? Russia. Russia is the correct answer. And you guys did that one. 6,768 of you guys got it right. That is over 71% who knew that Tetris was invented in Russia. And listen, we can see why they were uh, battling over it because look at how Tetris took over the world. It really did. I personally have never been able to solve it, but hey, that's just me. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here is question number <laughs> seven. All right. What director directed a single shot for Brian De Palma's Scarface? Steven Spielberg, Sidney Pollock, or Oliver Stone? 
which one was it? All right, now, while future big-time director Oliver Stone did write the screenplay, he didn't direct a single frame of the movie, but a visiting Steven Spielberg did. You guys did that one. 5,795, you guys got the one right. That's 77% of you guys who got it right and knew that Steven Spielberg directed that one can i tell you why i'm laughing i'm laughing because the last question i said i've never been able to solve tetris but then i realized what i'd said i was thinking of rubik's cube you guys that's what i meant okay so just had to clarify because i know some people are like what is he talking about steven spielberg is the correct answer 77 percent. moving on to the next question worth one bonus sb here's question number eight how many types of solar storm are there one two or three how many types of solar storm are there? One, two, or three? Now, the space weather we get from the sun comes in a few tasty flavors. Radio blackout, a solar radiation storm, or the strongest of all, which is a geomagnetic storm. And if we can all count, that is three total. Three is the correct answer. 2,191 of you guys got the one right. That's 36%. I got to say 64% of you guys didn't get that one right. That was a hard one. You know, I'm not too shocked, but hey, you tried your best. Over 1,265 have rejoined. I'm going to give you like five more seconds to rejoin. You know, you know, because we're almost there. We only have two questions left. I don't want you to be out too soon. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's move on to the next question, the final question before the final question. Here's question number nine worth one bonus SB. Which of the following is not a lyric from Ain't No Mountain High Enough? Ain't No River Wide Enough? Ain't No Lipstick Red Enough? Or Ain't No Valley Low Enough? Which one is not a lyric in the song? Now, nothing will keep Tammy Tyrell and Marvin Gaye from getting to one another. Rivers and valleys both get mentioned, but listen, ain't nobody said anything about lipstick, all right? Red lipstick is the correct answer. 3,237 of you guys have made it this far. And guess what, my friends? You are ready for our final question. All right. So listen, you guys. Next week is a second chance week. Yes, it is. And each game will be themed around a summer movie spe uh, summer movie superstar, in addition to getting you three free rejoins for just showing up. So the showtimes begin on Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So see you there. I want to make sure you guys are all here, okay? So make sure you're here. Now, quick reminder. There are two ways to get SB from Swag Bus Daily Trivia outside of our live games, and you need to know about all of them. Now, one is through our Daily Trivia Challenge, the quick hostess version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Both will get you SB towards your daily goal. Also, hey, want another way to get SB? Refer your friends and families to Swagbucks when someone you and to Swagbucks. When someone you invite signs up as your, your referral and earns 300 SB in their first 30 days on site, you get a $3 bonus, all right? That's in addition to the 10% match you get from their earnings for life. You heard that? For life. So make their lives better by adding to your own SB total. You know, you help me, I help you. It's that kind of thing. All right, final question, you guys, worth one bonus SB. Here we are. Here is question number 10. The Zendaya movie, Challengers, revolves around what sport? Tennis, pickleball, or ping pong? Tennis, pickleball, or ping pong? All very popular, but which sport is it? Now, it was a talked about movie, but it probably didn't do as well as it could have because there was no collectible popcorn bucket in the shape of a tennis ball because, of course, that would have made it so much better. <laughs> 2,578 of you guys knew that answer. You knew that it was tennis. And guess what, my friends? You are splitting our grand prize. Yes. Shout out to all of you. Congratulations to everybody who's splitting the grand prize today. Listen, let's see some of you winners. Let's see who it is. We have Riv Ram 03. We have Ethanos 343. We have Snow Ryer. And let's say Hassler Katie to name a few. You're getting your prize in the form of points called SB, which you can redeem for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other 
amazing, immaculate places. You guys, you've done it again. Thank you so much for playing. Don't forget to come back next week for check second chance week because we're going to have a good time. All right? Come on back on Monday. We're going to have a whole new week of games. This has been Daily Trivia Live. Have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.